Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus. I'm joined by... Dan Barlett, Programme Director for Moving Image and Digital Arts at University of the Arts London. So tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing and uh, how virtual reality is involved. Okay, so at University of the Arts London's London College of Communication campus, we're developing MA and BA degrees specifically in virtual reality technical studies. Why? Um, because this is, this is um, recognition of what we're already doing. VR projects are popping up all over London. We've got really well-established uh, BA and MA games and animation courses and film courses. And we were seeing VR projects just all over the place across all years of the courses. So we thought, well, maybe we need to recognize this, recognize this and give people in London and in Europe an opportunity to train in the field. So tell me a little bit about the BA course, what are you going to be learning, what are the software, what are the hardware, okay. all those things. So uh, the BA in virtual reality launches in October 2019. Um, and it's an opportunity for students to come out from lots of different angles. So if they're interested in games design in virtual reality, they'll be working with things like Maya and Unity uh, to create um, interactive, immersive experiences. If they're interested in filmmaking, we've got our own sort of live television and green screen studios, but they'll be using 360 cameras and depth cameras in order to create 3D, 360 immersive you know, narrative sequences. And the same for animation as well. So we teach Maya, we teach Toon Boom Harmony, but we're bringing it into virtual reality to create you know, really immersive narrative-led content. So does that mean that the students kind of can specialize in their own sectors or it's a little bit broad and they kind of dip their toes and everything? So in the first year of study, they have uh, four units they have to get through that all students undertake. So that helps them build foundation, um, pro like core program development skills, so whether that's in 3D animation or animation principles, in script writing, narrative development, project management, and a little introduction to our core pipeline, which is going to be Unity. So in the first year they do, they have that core focus, and in their second and third year of study, they can branch out into their specialist fields. How come you guys are focusing on Unity? Um, Unity made sense to us because it just seems like a pipeline that's quite open at either end. You know, it's not as restricted as some of the others, and we've received excellent support from Unity in the past with what our game students have been doing. So it just seemed like a natural progression to us. Okay, tell me about the master's course. So the master's degree uh, in virtual reality, that starts in October 2018. And that's an opportunity for people who have perhaps already got some practice in virtual reality or they're programmers or games designers who are just looking for an opportunity to up their skills base. Um, we've also opened it to artists as well. This is something that we saw specifically in London. Lots of fine artists and illustrators who've jumped in with you know, bits of software like uh, Masterpiece VR um, and Quill who are creating work. So it's an opportunity to do a one and a half year course to get their master's degree and produce research that demonstrates you know, their knowledge within the field. It's much more open and we anticipate students com coming onto that course have already got some technical skills and are just going to use it to really push their research in a new direction. So how much are we looking at for prices for both the BA and the MA courses? So uh, prices vary, it's, it entirely depends on circumstance. So all of UAL's courses have fixed prices for their um, internal, so domestic students and EU students, and fixed prices for international students. But it depends on the year of enrollment. So it's uh, it, this year it starts at £8,000, but next year it may be different. So it's one of those things, depending on whether you start in 2018 or 2019, you need to check the UAL website for those prices at the time. And what are, I guess, the requirements for every student? Do they have to know a little bit about VR, AR, besides the master's course, or can they just kind of jump in? For the master's course, um, it's not a requirement that they know VR or have used it before, but we expect in their portfolios to have some kind of familiar skill, whether it be filmmaking skills, so they've got editing, they've got storyboarding, you know, shock composition and direction skills, or they've come from a games design background, so they've got a bit of the core software knowledge. But it's, it's, we know it's going to be a very eclectic group of people studying a master's degree, so we're really open. With the bachelor's degree program, we know this is new tech. You know, this is the very frontier for this subject area. So we, it's very open. You know, we're really just looking at the potential of each applicant as opposed to you know, what they already know. And how many spaces are available for each course? Uh, so the master's degree, we, we take up to 20 students per year. And for the bachelor's degree, we're going to take up to 40 students per year. Though that's, that's possible, it might change, you know, it's a whole year away yet before we enroll on that course. 
Uh, with regards to all of the knowledge and all of the experimentation that's going to take yeah. place, is there potentially, I don't know, like a book of theoretical language and knowledge that's going to come out of all this experimentation? <laughs> that's, um, that was kind of the drive with writing the master's degree is there is no singular format of language for virtual reality yet. Um, so we need to write one, and we're going to. You know, that's, that's kind of the heart of what we're doing. We've got, as well as our bachelor's and master's degree programs, we have researchers, so PhD candidates, that are working in this field as well. And we have a highly skilled um, academic faculty who are all practitioners within virtual reality or associated fields. So our goal is we want to work not just with, internally with that team, but to partner up with external institutions, software developers, hardware developers, other universities, to help write that language. Wow, that sounds very exciting and a very exciting place to be. And you've got lots of students coming from overseas as well? Yes, uh, approximately 40% of our students are international um, from all over the world, you know, from the Far East, from South America, from um, the East and West Coast of the United States. It's a really, you know, very diverse group of individuals. And that's part of what UAL has always stood for, is that diversity. And it's not just in its cohort, but in the voice of that cohort and what they create. Fantastic. Well, is there a website that we can go to to find yes. out more? Yes. Um, if you go to arts.ac.uk, search for virtual reality, you'll be able to see our MAs, our BAs, and our short course offerings. Okay, just another question. Does that involve augmented and mixed reality as well? Are there somehow involved? That's a involved? great question. Um, that's part of the debate of what VR even is, you know, how inclusive are those other practices? At the moment, we're focused on virtual reality because that's the one we want to get right. But I, I personally believe, as, as the kind of curriculum lead, that includes mixed reality. Augmented reality kind of leans more towards design than it does narrative. It leans more towards product than it does experience. But it's something that, especially for the master's students, we want them to explore so that we can pin that language down and we can you know, firmly align each practice. Well, thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you for having me. Head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more about VR, AR, or immersive technologies. And I will see you there. Thank you very much. Thank you.